Good morning, Sagittarius. Well, at least this morning for me. Welcome in, welcome into your reading. If you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by and taking a listen. I'm a bit of a slightly different reader. I usually use the tarot as a tool to help mitigate fallout or problems and use it as a source for advisement. So when we do the reading, we're going to see what the situation is for the week. If it resonates with you, stick around. If it doesn't, please listen to the other weekly readings, your moon and your, your rising, as it's going to give you a clear picture of what's going on in your world. All right, let's begin. So let me just show you what fell out, Sagis. <clears throat> Over here, this is my situation, rather yours. This is what's coming towards you. This is what you're unaware of behind the scenes that you're, you're not aware of yet. This is your advice and this is your outcome. So let's begin. The bottom of the deck, I have Page of Swords, Eight of Swords, Nine of Wands, the Moon, and Temperance, and the Queen of Wands. Okay, guys, what? so what I'm feeling right off the bat here as you recently went through a situation, whether you had a fight, a breakup, a breakdown, a collapse of a situation, whether you lost your job or a relationship or a marriage, because I have tower here. Following that, I have you, male or female, queen of wands. That's you. It's your energy. And usually the queen of wands, I find her to be somebody that's brave, that's strong emotionally, uh, physically, and um, intellectually. She just charges ahead. Of course, you can apply this to a male as well. Take it as it resonates. But here is you, Sagittarius Temperance card, where you're trying to restore balance in your life after that foundation has cracked and broke down. You have the moon here. You have some things that you're unaware of, that things that are happening behind the scenes. And you know this, you're aware of this, so it's a little bit haunting for you. Um, and this has caused great burdens for you what, and great responsibilities. Whatever this recent breakup or breakdown foundation, whether you know it's a job loss or uh, something fundamental to you that had broken down. Eight of Swords, you feeling stuck, not knowing how to get out of this. And now you have the Page of Swords. You're just trying to figure things out. You're trying to learn, keep an eye on things. Um, you're just seeking more knowledge and information. Um, now over here, the situation, I have the wheel of fortune. Luck is definitely on your side, guys. So whatever's going on, don't you worry. The fates are aware of what's happening and they have luck on your side. It's, I'm almost starting to feel like whatever this was, was a blessing in disguise. You have to understand if I'm seeing the tower, yes, it's at the bottom of the deck. So that just tells me the backlog. If I'm seeing the tower in this reading, Sagittarius, it's, it's telling me there was something that you weren't changing. So the universe changed it for you. That's why I'm seeing this in your situation, the Wheel of Fortune. They're weaving the web of your life and in the right direction. What's coming towards you? Lovers, Ten of Wands, Knight of Coins. Okay, so either you are dealing with a lover, somebody you recently met, or you will be meeting very soon, a lover. For whatever reason, this lover is going to bring you burdens. Um... It's not so much that the relationship is heavy duty. It's just a, I don't know if it's a timing thing or uh, something that's going on in your personal life that this is uh, all consuming for you as far as energy and time. Um, the Knight of Cups, I mean the Knight of Coins, sorry. This is just a situation that's coming towards you and it's coming towards you slowly. And I think that's what's causing you to feel burdened because it kind of feels like, well, where's this going? what's happening here you know one of those things i'm going to clarify so the more i drop the more the story unfolds for me right now we're just speaking generally until we start clarifying everything four of wands uh is what you don't see coming well that night of coins that's slowly methodically prodding along towards you turns into something huge turns into a marriage turns into moving in with you turns into a massive foundation that's pretty st stable and sturdy this is probably why you have luck on your side over here is the situation what's your advice the hangman hang back just let it all unfold let the universe do its job for you i know that fire signs sometimes they tend to be like oh let's get this going let's let you know what's happening let, let, let's get it on already the universe is saying hang back let us do our job let us do our work for you it's coming we're weaving the web of your life chill your outcome 
page of wands in reverse and the fool in reverse how interesting two cards of aries uh, maybe some of you are dealing with an aries don't know but the one is telling me they, this person might be a little bit more immature than you but you feel like this is your person like you don't feel like um two stories here Either you feel this person is immature and that you feel like you can't have a future with this person or you're, 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 um, you're not sure of where, where it's going and you're not taking a leap of faith towards this person or it's quite the opposite. It's you found your person and you don't feel like you need to move anymore, like you're just done. You, you're, you're home. So we're going to go ahead and clarify and we're going to see what's going on here. All right, Sagittarius, already shaping up to be an interesting story. So... The other thing I'm vibing or channeling or feeling is maybe the burden of this new lover. Like I kept saying, timing, timing, um, maybe the way they came in or maybe you ended something, maybe you had a big fight and now you're on that transitional other end. Let's see what's going on. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? like a boat going by behind me with a dog in it <laughs> so cute okay. queen of swords temperance is pentacles wheel of fortune strength is cups this is way too many cards and they all came in reverse so I'm looking at them in the upright direction. It doesn't matter. So I think I'm understanding why this is the Wheel of Fortune is coming in your direction. In the recent past, you were dealing possibly with an air sign. Uh, Libra, Sagittarius, uh, Libra, Aquarius, um, Gemini. And there was imbalance with that person. You had a uh, false start with that person. You thought that that person might have been your person. Um, there was an initial love there. There was initial opportunity for emotions and a relationship, and it just was a false start. It didn't really go anywhere. It just didn't. And then maybe this is what your tower moment was. I'll show you these cards and these roll in reverse. Queen of Swords in reverse. That's your air sign. Temperance in reverse. There was a lack of balance. The Ace of Pentacles, there was a beginning, there was an opportunity, but it was a false start. Wheel of Fortune, there was no luck in that relationship. Strength, there was there was a lack of stability altogether. And the Ace of Cups was rejected. And now I feel like you knew it was time to end it and you weren't ending it. You just kept going. So don't remain fixed on the the signs if it's an air sign or fire sign whatever it, it, the point is there was somebody in your recent past that you had a full start with and somebody else came along and you're not sure about this new person because you're you were still tied up from the person from the past but that person from the past had to go sagittarius they legit had to go look i'm looking at the bottom of the deck here it's it's seven of pentacles yeah you you were debating how much time and energy you invested in that relationship or that person. You thought that person, you could have been married to that person or you were thinking about marrying that person. Look, Nine of Swords, they had you up at night. That person had to go, 100%. So that's why I kept feeling timing, timing. Why is this burdening you? Because you're probably going through a process from your past to your future. I don't know if some of you are getting a divorce and now it's not the time for you to be dating other people and then this person comes along in your life because there is a lover here for sure or others of you you just um you're like my luck sucks in love look what just happened to me not the case not the case at all what is ten of wands knight of coins lovers please this is this might actually be your person sagittarius what's going on Ten of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Two of Pentacles, King of Swords, Ace of Swords. Yeah, your person from the past, they come and they tell you, your, your air sign will just say that because we have the King of Swords again, sort of coming upside down, comes and tells you the truth. I don't think so. I think they bullshitting you personally, in my opinion, about what went wrong in your marriage, in your relationship. 
now you're getting a new offer from this lover and you're trying to balance things out you have one foot in the past one foot in the future you might even be you know juggling two people thousands of you Sagittarius all your stories are different and I know this is kind of what you're doing because you feel stuck you're like shit what do I do with this soulmate that you walked away from or are thinking about walking away from this lover let me see what's going on what is this four of wands please clarify this four of wands This new lover came out of nowhere, didn't they? Look at this. Got the tower again. Check this out, right? With the Knight of Cups and the Ten of Cups and at the bottom of the deck, the Ace of Wands. Passionate new beginning. Oh my God. you A lot of you are definitely dealing with an Aries. Somebody that's boss-like, older, uh, father figure even if they're a female they're they're very like paternal they they have their shit in check they're very um what's the word i'm looking for masculine in nature even if they're a female you have two of wands you don't know what the fuck to do it's the second time i'm seeing a two this came out of nowhere this can bring you and the other person wish fulfillment this invitation to date to um be together to it, it, this is messages of emotions so for whatever it is for you sagittarius you know what it is and you are trying to decide what to do some of you this is like whether you should get married or not shit or get off the pot this tells me you do <laughs> this tells me there's a serious foundation coming your way the hangman I know you don't know what to do because I'm seeing twos. So you're, that's why in your um, advice position, you're getting the hangman. The hangman. Please clarify the hangman. What I'm hearing, what I'm seeing is you can't see or think or focus straight just yet because you are heartbroken and you're trying to get over that heartbreak. You really, really are. So you're in no position right now to make a decision, which is probably why you're like teeter-tottering and flip-flopping because you have the three of swords. So the three of swords is telling me, you know, especially in your advice position, this has happened. So they're telling me you need to get over this, but because you have not yet, you're not in a place to make decisions just yet. That's why this is a burden. That's why the universe is working on your behalf. And that's why the universe is saying, don't make any rash decisions yet. You might need to see something from a different perspective when it comes to this person or situationship, whatever your situationship is, because at the bottom of the deck, you also have judgment, you needing to make a judgment call. Oh my God, regarding this marriage, moving in with this person, this relationship, this foundation, whatever it is. Yeah, with this passionate new beginning, with this emperor, this person's no joke. Okay. I was just shuffling to shuffle and these two popped out. So let me see what they're saying. Seven of Pentacles, six of Wands. Okay. So you are assessing all the time and energy that you've invested. Others of you are thinking about investing with this new person or this situation. And those of you that are, you will have a level of success. Six of Wands. For sure. And I'm going to put them down because I was about to clarify the outcome with the Page of Wands in reverse and the Fool. Reverse. Why is it, let me have some more cards, please. Universe and spirit guys. Why is Peter wants in reverse and the fool in reverse? Is this person not taking a leap of faith, or is this person done? They found their person. Guys, leave me comments. I read them all. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, I was afraid I was gonna fall under the porch. Yeah, page of swords. Okay, with Page of Swords and the bottom of the deck earlier was Page of Swords. You wanting more information, so you just are kind of like are hanging back. You are trying to wait for more information. The Six of Pentacles, you want to make sure it's fair and even. 
You want to make sure the scales are balanced. You want to make sure that there's no more breadcrumbing, no more bullshit, no more lies. You want it to be even keel. Um, hold on. I see. Okay, so the form reverses. You're no longer going to entertain the past. You're going to leave the past behind, and you're going to charge ahead. Page of Swords. So some of you, yeah, you, you think you, you might have, this new person might be your person. I, I think a lot of you are understanding that, you know, you might want to invest with this new person. And when you do, there will be a level of success, Sagittarius. Bottom of the deck, the hangman, king, the king of pentacles, the devil, yeah. There was something very toxic about something from your person from the past, as a side note, by the way. Or some kind of toxic situation in your life. This is a side note. There's an um, earth sign person in your world that's burdening you. Um, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. They are uh, burdening you for some reason. They are becoming a third-party situation. Not like um, a fair or anything like that, but third-party interference. And it's affecting your life in some way, shape, or form. And whatever's going on with that person, they have a level of toxicity going on in their lives. And they're trying to bleed it into your world. They don't have to be an earth sign, but that's what I see. I see that they have money. They make money. They're fine financially. But they're pushing their world and their problems into you, you are not responsible for anyone else's happiness, Sagittarius. Only for yourself. Okay. What's going on for my Saggies here? Curious. All right. So, playfulness, honeymoon, worth waiting for, this could be the one. The bottom of the deck, love yourself first. That's what I just said. You're responsible for your own happiness. This was at the bottom of the deck. This could be the one. This is this right here. What I was telling you about, if you invest in this new person or this new situation, there will be a level of success. That's this. Honeymoon, that's this. This is the foundation. This is getting engaged. This is getting married. This is settling down. This is fixing your foundation. Playfulness. This is your page of wands. This is your passionate new beginning that I saw previously. Don't know where that card is. But yes, this is flirting, being happy, lighthearted, easy breezy. Let me see the curious card. Yeah, religious factors. This just tells me that um, it didn't really pop out. It was kind of sticking out. I was curious. So this is just a side note. This just tells me that this new person, and this is maybe why you're thinking differently. They're not Either you have a religious difference, or you have a cultural difference, or it could be an academic difference, it could be a financial difference. It's something that is fundamentally different from you with this person. Um, not that that makes any uh, factor, but it is, you know, something that hinders at the back of your mind. All right, let's get some advice, and you guys will be all set. Sad geez. Surrender to the divine. Hello, hangman. I told you earlier, surrender to the divine. This is like where the universe is hang back. We got you. We got you. We are weaving the web of your life. Luck is on your side. Surrender to the divine. You are good enough. You're thinking about this past person and maybe you were dissed or maybe you were left on the cold or maybe whatever, whatever. It doesn't matter. You know who you are. You know your worth. You know your value, Sagittarius. You're awesome sauce. Maybe some of you are also dealing with a Virgo. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't show this to you earlier. This, this also fell out worth waiting for. That's this new person. A new romantic cycle begins. What did I say at the bottom of the deck? I knew it. Some of you... It could be flipped. You could have been dealing with the fire sign and now are dealing with an air sign also. I don't know. Flip the script. Because this says Libra. So a lot of you, I did feel Libra heavily in, that you were dealing with. Aries, Libra, I felt. There is um, there is earth sign here too. 
but those are the two biggest that I've seen. Um, but a new romantic cycle begins. Yes. Have faith it'll work out, Libra. I mean, Sagis. <laughs> uh, please leave me comments, like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next week.